Perisher and Fredbo are two popular ski resorts in Australia. They are located in the snowy mountains in Kosciuszko National Park. This is a beginner's guide to the snowy mountains for non-skiers, beginners, or someone new to the area. We will give you an overview of the areas, how to get there, snow clothes, equipment, lift tickets, lessons, ski tube, food, and accommodations. Perisher is Australia's biggest ski resort with four resort areas including Perisher Valley, Smiggin Holes, Guthaga, and Blue Cow. There are plenty of runs to explore across those four areas. In Perisher, Perisher Valley is the most visited area of those four, especially for first-time visitors or beginners. Perisher has more activities for kids including a dedicated free toboggan park and snow play area at Perisher Valley. It also has easier terrain for young beginners. You can go up to the top of the toboggan area to enjoy the beautiful view. Among the four areas of Perisher, Smiggin Holes is one of the best for young children or beginners to learn skiing as it's less crowded than Perisher Valley and has more areas to practice. You can also catch free buses between Perisher Valley and Smiggin Holes to visit two areas on the same day. Threadbow is one ski resort area with Threadbow Village at the base of the mountain. Threadbow is home to the country's longest runs, almost double the amount of vertical than any other resort. Threadbow Village has a great alpine atmosphere with nice shops, restaurants, bars, and even a supermarket. Threadbow has more non-skiing facilities such as a tennis court, skate park, swimming pool and gym, and a playground. Threadbow runs a free shuttle bus to take you around the village. There are no toboggan and snow play areas at Threadbow. Threadbow is home to Australia's only alpine gondola to have a beautiful view up the mountain. Friday Flat is a dedicated beginner area, with a gentle slope for learners to progress with confidence. If you're traveling in a group or with your family, one of the most convenient and cheapest options is driving. All two-wheel drive vehicles must carry snow chains in winter, between June and October long weekends. Threadbow and Perisher are about a five hours drive from Sydney. Roads are not so difficult to drive when it's not snowing but can be slippery and icy. If you're driving there, you will have to pay an entry fee of $29 per day. We normally buy the annual tickets as we can go to other national parks too. If you don't drive, there are many coach services in Sydney that take you there. Tickets are around $150 per person for a one-day trip. If you only plan to go have a look and not do any snow activities, you only need thick warm clothes and waterproof shoes. If you're planning to learn skiing, do some skiing, snowboarding, tobogganing, or other snow play, you will need waterproof thick warm jackets, waterproof snow gloves, ski gear including ski or snowboard, boots, poles, and helmet. You can rent your skiing clothes, gear, and accessories at shops in Threadbow, Perisher, and Smiggin Holes at higher prices. It offers convenience that you don't have to carry heavy ski gear and also if there's something wrong with your equipment, 
you can get it fixed right there. Alternatively, Jindabyne offers a large range of cheaper snow sport rentals. We normally hire them in a rental shop at Jindabyne at a good price. For example, the beginner recreational skis, boots and poles, or snowboard and boots is only $51 for one day or $95 for three days with a 10% further discount booking online. Both resorts offer car parks. The car park at Parisha is bigger and closer to the snow field than Fredbo. However, no overnight parking is available at Parisha. You can park at Bullock's flat ski tube and take the ski tube to Parisha. At Fredbo, you can park your car overnight. You can park at Friday Flat Car Park, Fredbo's main parking zone, or designated parking areas along the Friday Drive. The ski tube travels 8.5 km with 6.3 km of that journey being underground, taking only 10 minutes to arrive at Parisha from Bullock's Flat. You can find free parking on a day or overnight at Bullock's Flat and not worry about driving under hazardous weather. A ski tube ticket is about $72 for a return trip. Bullock's Flat is convenient with no stairs inside the terminal. There are stairs at the Parisha terminal. If you have heavy luggage, you can ask for assistance from the staff there to use the luggage lifts. You can buy single-day or multi-day lift tickets. A full-day lift pass provides mountain lift access for skiing and snowboarding. Ski and snowboard lessons are available throughout the season. You can book two-hour lessons for adults and three-hour or full-day lessons for children. Private lessons are also available. You have to purchase ski lift passes separately. Lessons are booked online and can be sold out very fast during peak periods like school holidays. You should book lessons well in advance. Accommodation right in Threadbo or Parisha is expensive and can be booked out early, especially during peak season in July and August. Threadbow is like a village that not only has bars and restaurants but also a small supermarket where you can buy groceries. Jindabyne is a good alternative choice for accommodation in the snowy region. Jindabyne is only about 30 kilometers or 30 minutes drive from Threadbow or Perisher. Normally we book Airbnb in Jindabyne or the Jindabyne NRMA Holiday Park. Nuggets Crossing in Jindabyne is a fantastic little shopping center with shops, takeaways, a bakery, a coffee shop, snow gear hire, a chemist, restaurants, and boutiques as well as a Woolworths supermarket, a BWS, and an ATM. Parishes and Smiggin holes have food courts with shops normally closing early at 3 p.m. 
Shops are very busy with long queues during peak season. I hope you find this video useful to plan your trip. Please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks so much for your support. Have a safe and exciting journey.